What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got an absolute legend of FIFA and it is going to be Moments McGeady to review today. You already know what's going to happen in this video. You're going to see skills come out like there's no tomorrow. You're going to see us go on a few skill runs, let's say, because I feel like already he's just going to be an absolute insane, insane player for a silver star. I thought they were going to give him like an 87 overall, 87 overall flashback card. That's what I thought was going to happen, right? If they're giving us a 74 overall McGeady for free, I will 100% take it. So he is a 5 foot 10 player, good height, high medium work rate. Good work rates, five star skill moves with a four star weak foot. You already know I'm enjoying that. You already know. Either way, when it comes down to the chem style, it is going to be the hunter chem style. The only problem I feel like you're going to have with this card is the stamina and the strength, obviously. Like the stamina is going to be a big issue when you're thinking of making this guy last for the whole 90 minutes. Most likely, he's not going to be able to do it. When it comes down to his strength as well, I do feel like he's going to get bodied off the ball, but he might fight back for it because of that 83 aggression. Either way, he's got 98 acceleration with the 99 sprint speed, so he should be insanely fast. Shooting ability, 83 attacking positioning, 84 finishing, 90 shot power, 89 long shots, 97 volleys with the 95 penalties as well. We're going to try to get a long shot with this guy because 89 long shots with 90 shot power should be should be absolutely insane. Has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. Now, his passing ability, 84 vision, 99 crossing, 85 free accuracy, 84 short passing, 80 long passing with a 90 curve as well. Really, really good curve. And his passing ability in general isn't actually too bad. So if you are thinking of playing this guy in a cam position, he might be able to play there because of the passing ability. But just remember, the stamina is insanely low. So he won't 100% will not be lasting for the whole 90 minutes, especially in that cam position. He shows his dribbling ability. 98 agility. It's just something you love to see. It really is. 98 agility just straight up onto the card. Wow. 86 balance, 77 reactions, 85 ball control, 86 dribbling with the 81 composure as well. Now, as I said, the physicals, you know, not the greatest. 75 stamina, 74 strength with the 83 aggression. It's something that you're going to have to deal with when it comes down to this card. Now, the thing is with McGeady is links wise for the nationality isn't too bad because they have added a fair amount of Irish players, right? But it's like the league is absolutely terrible for this for this year. Like I don't know any league one player that really fits into the meta this year. I just don't, unless I'm forgetting about someone completely. But just at the top of my head, I can't think of a single player. But either way, I've personally gone for icons around him. And it is going to be Carlos Alberto and Deco. I will be playing McGeady in a 4-4-2 in that striker position. And I might give him a go down the line. But it obviously depends on how much fun I'm having with him in that striker position. But let's get into the games. Neves on the ball. Double way into the middle. Can we get our first goal? No way Furlan Mendy does that. Reverse flip flat. Miguel has been cancelled through the legs. No. Oh my god, I couldn't get round him. If I could get round him, Ferlan Mendy. I think we've just ended your career. If we could get that ball. Oh my. Is he gonna be edge of the box? He is gonna be edge of the box. Miguidi, you've got the long shots to your game. Oh, come on. I was expecting that to go in. I don't think I put a lot of power into that either. So I feel like that should have gone on target at least. Over to Miguidi. Gonna go forward with him. Well played. Miguel has been can Oh my god. I don't know why he's on the floor, but we're going to continue going. That's well played. Bridget into the open space. Full roll. I must admit, boys, his dribbling doesn't actually seem like crazy good. Like his skill moves definitely do come off very quickly. But him like keeping the ball close to his feet and all, it just doesn't seem great with him. See if I can try to get around him here. Flip flat, maybe? That's perfect. Well played. Going to go for that finesse shot at a tighter angle, and we are going to get blocked by Todd Ebo. Is Juan Felix going to make that run, or is someone going to make that run? Okay, good pass to Morris. Let's see if I can actually get him in behind here. Maybe we can go for that near post finish, and he is going to just hit it straight at the keeper. That's that four-star weak foot, but at the same time, that is his finishing ability coming into play. I was let, like, I let go of RT and everything. I feel like he should have put it into the corner, but hitting it straight at the keeper... That's disappointing. Yeah, he hasn't... I don't know, man, boys. I don't think the Hunter Chem style is the way to go. Like, I'm doing skill moves with him right now. They don't feel terrible with him. But he's got this, like, very slow and sluggish little touch to him sometimes. And I don't really like that. Let's see if we can get a goal here. Power shot towards the near post. We are going to get the finish. Low-key, 
I might switch the chem style from, from the hunter to something else because I feel like that dribbling is the thing that I'm, I need to, you know, enjoy the most with him. But that's the thing that I don't really like enjoy right now. It's very, very awkward with him. Going to send him on a run. Going to try to hit him with that through ball. Well played. Good turn as well. Can I go for the long shot with a finesse shot? It's not going to go into the corner, but it is going to challenge the keeper. So we have switched him to the marksman chem style now. We are going to see how it's actually going to go when it comes down to his dribbling. If he does feel better, then obviously marksman is most likely going to be the way to go. The reason I chose marksman is because it keeps his shooting stats still very, very good, but it also does boost out the dribbling. The only thing we are going to obviously miss out on is the pace. The pace is literally now not going to be touched at all but hopefully we do get you know him feeling a little bit better on the ball gonna give it to mcgeady here it's a nice little turn ball roll oh yeah oh without a doubt his skill moves feel so much better already with the marksman chem style so yeah if you want to use this card as a more of a fun card and just use him for the skill moves go for the marksman chem style but if you want to use him as a player that obviously can get him behind with all the pace that he has with the hunter then go with the hunter chem style boys it's a good pass. Scoop turned down. Gonna La Coqueta go for the power shot across goal. And we are gonna get another goal with him. Really, really nice dribbling. Just to keep it very close to his feet. And obviously go for the La Coqueta to get the angle across goal. Onto the edge of the box there. He's gonna try to cover it. Let's go up. Then pass through the middle. Well played. See if I can try to get through this angle real quick. He does well, but he is going to slightly get bodied off the ball. And that is something you are going to see happen time to time. Because he hasn't got the greatest strength to his game. Turn. Nice. Good fake shot as well. Keep going down. Keep going. Ball roll. Get the angle for the four star weak foot. But we are not going to get the finish. Just a little bit slow to accelerate into the open space there. And I feel like if we had the Hunter Kemstall in that situation, we would have actually got the goal. Because he would have been a little bit faster. It's a good run. Play that wide ball. Well played, McGeady. Get onto the end of it. Go for a hill to hill round the keeper. Are we going to get the finish? We are going to get the finish. McGeady, pass down to Felix. He's going to go through the gap. That's perfect. I'm going to hit a first time shot and we are going to get the goal. What a finish, by the way. And it was something I didn't expect to him to make that run that quick. I thought he was going to be, you know, a little bit delayed, you know, but he just ran straight into it. I saw the run, played him the ball. First time finish straight into the corner. Things you love to see. I like I'm going to give it to Felix. Then cut into the... Oh my god, look at that turn. Can we get the finish? No. Me thinking that, you know, the long shots are very, very good and all. I was like, why not? Him going for those turns. He got the angle and everything. Let's see if we can actually score this goal. And it goes off target. Let's see what we can do. Let's push that going forward. Hill to hill. Oh. 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 Have we got the goal? No. Has it came off Felix? It came off Felix, so it's offside. I cannot believe it. It was going to be a goal. It was going to be a very jammy goal, but it was going to be a goal nonetheless. So it is time to review him. Two games played, four goals scored, and unfortunately, we did not get an assist. But boys, this card, I must admit, I was expecting better. I really was. I was expecting someone that's going to feel really nice on the ball. A player that's going to have the pace, not have too much of the shooting or even not too much of the strength and obviously the stamina. But it's still a player that's going to feel very, very good on the ball with the skill moves. And that's not what I got. It really isn't. And it brings back to what I said at the start. I thought they were going to release a player SBC with like of McGeady and make it like an 87 overall. I will, I will still take that, you know, I'll still take the 87 overall McGeady if EA actually wanted to give it to us. Because this 74 rated McGeady, I thought it was going to be good enough to bring in foot champs. But it just isn't. This is one of those players that you're going to have to keep in Silver Lounge and have fun with in Silver Lounge. Because that's the only time you're going to have fun with him. Because his dribbling ability, with the Hunter Chem style especially, just isn't it. With the Marksman Chem style, it's not too bad. I must admit, it's not too bad for a 74 rated silver. But it still wasn't at that top tier kind of level. Now, do I still, do I believe it's still worth getting? 100%. As I said, you're going to still have fun with him in Silver Lounge. You're not going to bring this guy into Foot Champs though. He's just not good enough for Foot Champs. But let's get into the ratings. Pace-wise, I'll give it two different ones because it makes sense with the Marksman and the Hunter Chem style. Marksman, I'll give him, I'll say an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And with the Hunter Chem style, I'll give it a 9.1 out of 10. You are going to see the difference between the two without a doubt. Shooting ability. You know what? Like, left foot, 
was okay. Right foot was okay, I suppose. Like, the shot power really did carry the shot. I felt like the accuracy sometimes just wasn't it. It really wasn't. But the shot power, the amount of power he put behind that shot to just blast straight past the keeper was the one thing that I really did enjoy. So, for shooting, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, like, an 8.3 out of 10. Passing ability. It was nice to see the fact that he can pass with both feet. It's just it wasn't like a super, super kind of nice pass, you know. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll say like an 8.2 out of 10. Dribbling ability, I'll give it two different ones because the marksman chem style does make a difference. So with the hunter chem style, I would honestly say like a 7.7 .7 out of 10. 7.7. .7. As I said, it wasn't great. It really wasn't. And with the marksman chem style, I'll probably boost that up to like an 8.1 slash an 8.2 out of 10. As I said, boys, you are going to notice the difference between the two. Just understand it's still not top tier. And when it comes down to the physicals, it has to be bad. It literally has to be bad because the stamina is god tier awful. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a, a 7.5 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10. I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10 slash an 8.1 out of 10. As I said, he's not a terrible, terrible card. He really isn't. But I don't feel like this card is one of those cards that is good enough for foot champs. At this stage, in March especially, I just don't believe it's good enough. But have fun with him in Silver Lounge. And that's why I feel like this card's a thing, you know? To have fun with. You're not going to be sweating consistently with this card. It's not going to happen. You're going to have fun with him. You're going to experience, you know, the skill moves and all of those kind of stuff. And just, you know, play with him with Silver Lounge a little bit. Just don't sit there and play with Foot Champs because it's not going to end well. It really, really isn't. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now... Peace.